Since I started blogging, I used my, my real name. It's easy to hide behind the screen and keyboard and ask people to, to take to the streets and take action. But when you show your face, your real identity, uh, you show that you are convinced uh, of your actions and opinions and people can trust you. It's very important. We couldn't write books talking about the real situation in Tunisia. We couldn't write articles, be present on a TV show or on a radio station to, uh, to talk about the situation or, or to give our opinions. The regime had the monopoly on, on media, on means of communication. I knew that people were dying, killed by uh, Tunisian security forces, and I had to talk about that. Our uh, local media uh, were talking about uh, demonstrations to support the regime. They were not uh, telling the truth. What are human rights for you? How can you define human rights? All these rights, universal rights, are both rights and obligations. In uh, April 2010, the police broke into uh, my house. Uh, they stole my laptop, my cameras, and by the time we were working on a demonstration uh, against censorship, and it was a turning point in the history of cyber activism in Tunisia because it was the first time that we decided to leave our screens and to go to the street and say no to censorship. Let me say that the hardest moment uh, was the day I was in, uh, in Ergeb and Sidi Bouzid. So I took photos of uh, the corpuses of uh, young people who were just killed by, by the security forces, and it was really hard. And one of the houses, I, I was shaking. I couldn't take the photos, but it was the mother of the martyr who was saying, you have to take the photos and show this to uh, people around the world. But I was taking the photos and recording a small videos, and I was crying, shaking, and yeah. I lived with that for months and months, and whenever I remember it, it's really hard. January 14th, 2011 was really important, an important day in my struggle. It is the day when the dictator left the country. After that, we took to the streets. Hundreds of thousands of people were demonstrating, shouting the same slogans and asking him to leave. Every small victory gives me uh, the confidence that I'm on, on the real path, that I have to keep on struggling for this country. It's very important. Small details mean a lot. <laughs>